I'm your host, Locum23. You're joining me for 50 Days and 50 States, Chapter 10. Standing at the bar, the three of you look at the huge waves on the beach. I don't know, Maiden. Uh, can you handle those waves? She'll toss you around. Oh, I can handle her. Definitely. Uh-huh. Sure you can, buddy. You sit on the beach while Aiden and Chance paddle on their surfboards into the ocean. A wave begins to swell. Surf's up! The coming wave grows larger and larger. Chance catches the wave while Aiden gets swiped out by it. Ah! Aiden tries again, but a wave slams his board into his nose. You watch in horror as Aiden gets tossed wave after wave. Oh my god, why did I believe him when he said he could surf? Meanwhile, Chance shows off his tricks for you, performing stunts you never thought were possible. Serves Aiden right. He told me he was nearly a pro. I'm giving him hell over this once we're alone. Hope he's okay, though. Aiden comes out of the water and collapses with his board next to you, huffing and puffing. Chance follows him. Uh, you alright, bro? Uh, yeah, I just <clears throat> wanna chill for a bit. Uh, gotta. Catch my breath. That was firing out there. Killer waves. Did you enjoy the show, Catherine? Hmm. How should I answer the spare Aiden's feeling? Be honest. Love the hands down. That was epic. Uh, Aiden, you really hung in there. You okay? Uh, never better. I just... I, I just need a better board. Aiden and you share a glance, but he quickly looks away. What's up with this tense atmosphere between us? You can't possibly be jealous, can he? Three of you look out at the glittering waves. So, uh, Chance, you said your profile was put up as a joke. I take it you're not really serious about relationships and all? Uh, no. I'm totally serious. Uh, because my sister is itching to get married. I mean, talk about wedding fever. This jerk. He glare at him. Really? That's cool. I'd love to be married. I'm super ready to settle down. Your profile says you work at a retail shop. You're sure you're ready for a family? I mean, kids are... Yeah, uh, sorry. The profile was completely made up. I'm finishing my residency in medicine. So, I'll be ready for marriage, kids. The works. He exhales and gets chance a hard stare. Yeah, well, medicine is competitive, so unless you went to a top-rated... I got my medical degree at Stanford. Yale undergrad. Well, that's just... You know, the fact that you lied... LIED! About... At every... You know, everything in your profile... Speaks volumes. VOLUMES! About your... This conversation needs to be steered in a direction. I'll... Tell Aiden to calm down. Aiden, calm down. Oh no. Nope. I will not calm down. I mean, this man is a total fraud. A fraud! How dare... How, how do we even know any of the things he's saying now are true? Hmm? What are we gonna do uncover when we find the real chance? In, in, if that, in fact, is his name. He's built a rotting groundwork of deceit and... Aiden, Aiden, I apologize for the fake profile. I didn't even know the profile was up until Catherine responded to it. But once I saw how beautiful she, she, you were, I didn't want to rock the boat. I figured I'd give a chance to tell you once I saw your pretty face in person. So sweet. You can't help but giggle and flush at Chance's words. Out of the corner of your eye, you see Aiden storming back to the hotel. Chance looks alarmed. I have to explain this somehow. Sorry, Chance. This is kind of a rough day for us. Uh, why is that? Oh, what a tangled web we weave. Well, our mother has passed on. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thanks, but it, uh, it was a really long time ago, when we were teenagers. Oh. Mom, please forgive me this one little more lie, but today was her birthday, and we've always honored it. Rescheduled our date for today messed that up. Anyway, I think that's what's got him so upset. Oh, so that's why he's so touchy and testy, yeah. So I should really check up on him. Alright, go ahead. 
You go back to the hotel bar. Spot Aiden on a stool, hunched over a pina colada. He looks so alone. This is ridiculous. We should call this date off. Maybe I should tell Chance the truth and end it. I need to handle Aiden delicately. I should talk to him about the tension between us. I'll bring up a, it, it in a way that is friendly, apologetic, confrontational. Friendly. Hey, A-Man? I... A we're calling him A-Man now. Alright. A-Man! Oh! I know things got a little weird back there. If you're jealous... Who says I'm jealous? Oh, come on. You were going ballistic back there. Only because I can't believe you're falling for that tool's lines. What are you talking about? I see right through him, and his frosted tips. The joke. It's pathetic and nauseating that you giggle like a little card kindergartner when he talks his false flattery your way. False flattery? Yeah, all the crap about wanting to get married and have kids. Don't you know what's behind guys, say, to get girls in bed? You know, I was thinking you were more sophisticated than that. But maybe you are just a hopeless rube. I see what's going on here. You think he's too good for me. I didn't say... Oh, you said plenty. And, well, that actually, maybe, he actually does find me attractive. That he could think I'm worth anything more than a hookup? I'm so mad I could burst. I'll keep my cool. I'll show you. This rube's gonna shine. Give me five minutes to expose that poser. See Chance entering the hotel and hide rear rage. Uh, hey, Aiden. Your sister told me about today being your late mother's birthday. You and Aiden lock eyes. I think it's cool that you honor the, the day together. If there's anything... Well, Chance, we do have a special cliff where we spent spend her ashes years ago, and we'd like to visit it. Tell me where it is and I can take you guys there. Aiden gives him a location. Chance purses his lips for a moment, thinking... They're protecting an endangered native flower in that area, so you can't get there by car or bus anymore. But that's actually perfect. We can rock climb up there. It's treacherous, so... Chance hesitates and zips... Sizes Aiden up for a moment. I know I can handle it. You lean over and whisper to Aiden. It's gonna take more than five minutes. The clock's ticking. Don't sweat it. Game's on. <laughs> I like Aiden <laughs> because he's like me. After taking a moment to change, you and the others drive towards the cliff. Aiden marred. You and Chance scale the 50 foot rock face effortlessly. Aiden struggles behind you. His arms are trembling. A sweat rolls down his face. You doing okay back there, bro? Never. Better. This is so much fun. Next to you, Chance's bare, muscled back glistens in the bright sunlight. Sweat drips off his arm, falling down below. Ah! My eye! God damn it, it stings! Chance, it's like you were born to scale these rocks. Look at those arms and legs, that butt. You must have buns of steel. A champion surfer and rock climber. An exceptional oh, sweat glands. Sorry about that, bruh. Uh, did some of my sweat hit you? Just enough to sting and blind me. <laughs> God damn it, I'm gonna miss you. You finally get to the top of the cliff. It's a stellar view of the ocean. I'll leave you guys here so that you can honor your mother in private. Huh? Oh, yeah, right, thanks. Stance goes out of earshot. You awkwardly shuffle in place with the silence he leaves behind. We're alone. I don't know if there will be a better time to talk to Aiden about what he said to me. Should I? No. You're behind on your one-upmanship. Then Mr. Hawaii to my home turf, see if he can survive in the Big Apple. He'd be crying for his poi. My bullshit meter just overheated. Give it a rest. Where was your meter a couple hours ago? Did he just admit he made up those horrible things he said about me? Or is he talking about what Chance said? Just whose bullshit are we not believing now? The stuff we made up? Chance's? Mine? Yours? Are we going to make up an alcoholic dad next? Might as well throw in a grandfather with Alzheimer's. 
We'll have a whole family tree complete with tales of tawdry affairs. Oh, we'll sell the screenplay to HBO. We'll start to laugh softly first and loudly. You hear crunching gravel and turn to see Chance approaching with some equipment. Have you two uh, had a chance to mourn? We were just reminiscing. Mom had quite a sense of humor. It's the only way she could deal with Dad's drinking. You try not to laugh again. The winds are about perfect right now. So, whenever you're ready. Winds. Yeah, the only way we can uh, get down, back down, is paragliding. Aiden turns pale. Have you not paraglided before, Aiden? Oh, yeah. Lots of times. I was just concerned for Catherine. Oh, well, Catherine and I will go together on one parachute, and you can take the other one. Now, if you're uncomfortable at all, I can come back and get you. We can go down together. Uh, don't be ridiculous. I'll be fine. Chan shows you how to strap in your parachute. He looks at Aiden, strapped uh, to his. Looks like you got that on backwards, buddy. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Aiden motions for Chance to move away and fastens his parachute the right way. I just had to make the the right and left mixed. It, it's sea breeze. It, oh, let's just go. <laughs> Chance is super hot and everything. I want a guy, but why can't I stop thinking of Aiden? Because he makes you laugh, that's why. Aiden, maybe you should wait for Chance to... No. I told you. I've done this before. Let's go. Whee! You paraglide takes off. You and Chance soar through the air in tandem. Aiden flies solo. Ah! More Aiden. God. Man, is that fucking gorgeous. Oh, man. Oh, man, I would pull out my camera and take some beautiful pictures of that sunset. Oh, man, is that gorgeous. Wow. Man, that's like the perfect colors, too. That's just, man, oh, man, is that gorgeous. That is the one thing I love about Earth. Just nature, the sunsets, the sunrises, things like that. Can't stand the people where the shit. <laughs> After landing, you and Chance plan to spend the rest of the day alone at a luau near the beach. Two flame dancers throw fire batons while luau dancers perform to live music on the tiki stage. You drink in the atmosphere while sipping on the Mai Tai. This is amazing. I've only ever dreamed of going to Hawaii, and here I am. Wide-eyed, you take in the colorful fruits, the barbecued meat set atop a large table before you. I've never been or seen a luau before. This is so cool. As Chance stands up to speak to the host, your cell phone rings. It's Alyssa. Should I answer? Eh, why not? Hey, I'm on a date now. Immediately, you hear a toddler and a parrot screaming in the background. Are you at the shelter? Yeah, I couldn't find a babysitter today, but anyway, Emma and I didn't... You pull the phone away from your ears. Alyssa's two-year-old shrieks in the phone. Oh, I hate that. What? We didn't ask Clown the dates. What made you think that? What? I can't hear you or talk right now. I'll call you later. You hang up. Chance rejoins you at the table and smiles at you. So I saw that you run a shelter. That's wonderful. I love animals. Yeah, but now I'm starting to go restless, to uh, do other things. Like? Like music. I like to sing and write songs. Oh, that's a cool hobby. He tells you about his career plans, his family, and childhood. I'm getting sick of Mr. Perfect. Does he have any flaws? Ooh, now here we go. Now here's the woman we all know and love. The one looking for flaws, because she's just like Aiden, too. I wonder where Aiden is now. I even miss his snide remarks. Chance seems perfect, so why am I not feeling any spark? I've met up with so many men and nothing is working. What is wrong with me? Maybe I can dig deeper. I should ask a probing question. So what's something you did that you regret? 
He thinks about it for a bit. Uh, you know, I really don't have any regrets. Oh my ass! Everybody, and I mean this, everybody has regrets. Okay, okay, Mr. Perfect. All right. Like, I don't like to dwell on anything negative. Everything I've done, good or bad, led me to where I am now. And that's perfect. You shake your head and chuckle. You know, this is paradise. It's everything I ever wanted. Who wouldn't want the beach? Constant sunshine, bulging muscles, taut torso. It sounds like you have a perfect life here, but I think I'm... You're distracted by the roar of the crowd and look to the stage. Recognize Aiden as one of the dancers on stage. What is he wearing? He throws a fire baton in the air. Aiden? Ah, uh, your brother. The fire baton sails through the air, hits the tiki stage, and sets it on fire. <laughs> Aiden tries to put it out with a nearby filled glass. It's vodka. The fire spreads. <laughs> Skirt catches flame and starts burning. Ah! Oh! <laughs> 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 oh my god! Oh, I love this guy so much. After beating his grass skirt, he runs off towards the ocean, still on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Ooh, the pa the stage erupts in a pandemonium as fire spreads along the straw floor. Luau dancers and diner and kids run for their lives. <laughs> you chase after Aiden. <laughs> Ew! Whew. Oh my god, this guy is amazing! Aiden? Oh! Oh man, come on, if you guys, you gotta, you gotta love this. If you guys didn't love it and laugh, man, like, you need to, like, imagine it, okay? You need to, one, imagine what just happened, and two, just, wow! If you didn't laugh, let me know in the comment section. Like, you gotta. Um, like, I wanna know what gets you laughing, then. Because if you weren't laughing because of that, and I've had kind of a meh day, to even where I am just... I, I was not at all enjoying chapters today. Like, I mean, I was, but then I really wasn't. Um, and I've kind of been in a eh kind of the last couple days. So, man, <clears throat> let me know what makes you laugh if that didn't make you laugh. Without further ado, please remember to like and share the video if you did enjoy. Head down to the description below links to social media or Discord and a few links to support me and my content. And I'll catch you all later. Peace.